So there's my beautiful ice cream made to perfection. I have to taste the ice cream for all my adoring fans. We're on an inaugural sailing across the North Atlantic. It was on an inaugural sailing across the North Atlantic. But our ship's made better. That's actually okay. really good. Wow. I'm glad you don't like it. There's Missy's Starbucks. How's it taste? You gotta taste it. Yuck. Yum, okay. Caramel ribbon crunch. So there's my beautiful ice cream made to perfection. It's already getting dark and it's three o'clock. Yep. One more hour, we turn back one more hour tonight and then we'll be on officially on New York time. We still have three more days before we get to New York. So we're only on, what's it today, Wednesday? Well, today's Wednesday, so <coughs> we saw Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Four, four days we'll be on New York time. So I'm gonna miss turning the clock back. I like that. You get an extra hour of sleep every night. It'd be brutal going on a west to east because you have to turn the clock ahead an hour all those nights. <laughs> oh, there was a little catastrophe over there. I sneezed. Oh, is that what it was? I sneezed. <laughs> it sounded like forks and everything going everywhere. Anyway, let's take a look out, uh, out of our window here. I had to taste the ice cream for all my adoring fans. <laughs> it's actually really good, smooth, creamy, and dreamy. Okay, so we're just about done here in the uh, buffet. Missy made me eat two bowls of ice cream. So, right? Yep, see, she agrees. She made me eat two bowls of ice cream, so polished off a couple bowls, and uh, I'm not sure what's next. I'm actually kind of sleepy. I was up early this morning. I could go back and take a nap. I don't nap, though. I nap till 12 o'clock today. <laughs> That's called, not called nap. That's called, like, sleeping. Okay, so here we are. We've made our way down from uh, the Garden Cafe. To the Encore Theater at uh, four o'clock today. They're doing a lecture, 1912, the Titanic. Probably not, probably not the best thing to talk about on a transatlantic sailing. Uh, Explore the evidence. Transatlantic inaugural sailing. Yeah, what to say? Explore the evidence, the triumph, and the tragedy. Janice Leader is a guest lecturer. So yeah. Hmm. We're on an inaugural sailing across the North Atlantic. It was on an inaugural sailing across the North Atlantic. But our ship's made better. It's Norwegian Cruise Lines. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Plus they probably didn't have a cool cruise director, uh, Silas. Right. He's, he's down here. That's him there. Now, that's in our old currency in the UK. We have pounds, shillings, and pence. So that's really like saying seven and a half pounds, I suppose. What would you say that was about $10 by today's money? Were the underwater shots of the Titanic wreck, uh, wreckage, you know, that they showed the beginning of the movie, real? Yes, most of the underwater shots of the Titanic records are real, wreckage rather, is real. Okay, so what did you think of the uh, lecture on the Titanic? It was sad. It was sad that Jack and, uh, Roads were fake, made-up characters by James Cameron, right? 
It was sad that they sank. It was sad, yeah. It was sad that the actual... Uh, they had, what, nine what, warnings? Yeah, like eight or nine warnings, iceberg warnings, that they just had kind of ignored. The guy who was uh, supposed to be relaying them was uh, replied back to stop. He was working. So, yeah, they ignored their warnings and uh, hit an iceberg. And then the... The lesser class, lower class, was locked in the bottom of the ship. Yeah. With gates. Yeah, so that's how uh, Jack didn't make it. Even though he was not real. He was not, he was not a real character. But yeah, it was actually a pretty interesting uh, lecture. Yeah. Learned a little bit of information that uh, we didn't know already. So what's, what's next on the agenda? Don't know. It's Four, almost five. Almost five o'clock, 4.45. That was like a 45 minute uh, lecture here. So, I don't know. We'll have to see what's up. I do have a 7 o'clock uh, laser tag if they have that going. But uh, other than that, I'm not sure what else is next. Alright, so we decided to uh, just come back to our cabin. and relax here a little bit before my uh, appointment for laser tag, which is at 7. Still a little over, about a couple hours away. So we're just going to chill here. It is a beautiful evening out here. But I swear there's somebody smoking on the patio because I can smell it. Or it could maybe be coming from a smoking area down on the waterfront. But I have a, have a good idea that it's coming from somewhere above me. And somebody's smoking on the patio. So, not sure anything I can do about that because I don't know where it's coming from. But uh, you can see the uh, smoke from the uh, stacks coming out there and as we sail along through the Atlantic. I don't know, it might be raining or if that's uh, just sea spray, I'm not too sure. If it's rain, I will probably cancel laser tag because it's all outdoors up on the very top of the ship. So we're trying to figure out what uh, the baked walleye cod fillet is because walleye is a fish, cod is a fish, but they're not the same fish. One's in the ocean and one's in the lake. Exactly, yeah, cod comes from the ocean and uh, walleye comes from the lake. So, mild white fish. I'm guessing it's probably cod. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. He didn't like the uh, gnocchi, so I might have to eat it if, uh, well, I don't have to eat it, I guess, but I'm going to give it a try. That's actually really good. Wow. I'm glad you don't like it. I'm glad I don't like it, too. Yeah, we're going to try this fried chicken. I'm not too sure, but this kind of looks up. Uh, Pretty skimpy amount of fried chicken here. Yeah, even the chicken wings today were pretty small at the at the local. Tastes not too bad. It's okay. Not the right home about, but it's okay. Yeah, so I'm getting yeah altered fruit. I, I'm amazed. I'm gonna give it a try. Bananas. You your head today or something? Well, in the race car maybe. Maybe. Nah, I don't think so. You've never even ate a banana split. I probably had one one time. <laughs> Who wants to think that this is actually a banana split? This is a test. Is it really a banana split? No. Probably not. 
but maybe they'll surprise us. I read the description that it did not look like banana split. Okay, well, let's see. It actually does kind of look like a banana split, doesn't it? Kind of. It's got banana in there. So, and it's split in half. Let's see, it's all through fruit. That's true. That's true. I can eat this. This is actually not too bad. I ate it all. Surprising. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna wrap it up here for the day. Uh, today was the trip around the racetrack. That was pretty exciting. A little expensive for the money for the uh, amount of time you get. Only like seven laps for 15 bucks. It's like two bucks a lap. But anyway, it was a pretty good time. And we had an okay dinner in the, what was it, Taste Restaurant? Savor Restaurant. Savor Restaurant. We're gonna call it a night here, I think. And go to bed. It's actually, it's about 10 o'clock, but uh, this is our last time change. We had to change the clocks back one more hour. And now we'll be on New York time until we get to New York. And then we'll still be on New York time. So we're gonna wrap it up here for the night. Have a good night, y'all.